Good morning, guys. I am so tired. My face is so puffy. My roller doesn't come in until tomorrow. I don't know how I lost my ice roller. It just stays in my freezer. Like, where did I put that thing, you know? Anyways, today is another day of Vlogmas. I was up late last night, wilding out, because we filmed those collabs, and then Colleen Hoover's new book came out. So I was up until like 12.31, which is pretty crazy for me. Um, but like, the reason I don't stay up is because even waking up at 8 a.m., or I think 7.30 this morning, was so difficult. Like, I just can't rally anymore, guys. It's the quarantine that's done this to me. Anyways, I'm going to my dad's to have coffee outside with him. I, like, it's so weird. I don't know what happened, but I think I, like, hurt my ribs. How would I have done that and, like, not known? Today is, like, an at-home sort of day. Um, oh my gosh, guys. Oh, let's get gas. Isn't that just, like, the worst thing? I don't know why I just hate going to the gas station so much. Uh, actually, maybe because like creepy guys are there, but anyways. Sydney, who is like one of my greatest friends, and you guys have seen her. I, I, I'm pretty sure she was in the last Vlogmas, but at least two Vlogmas ago, because she was in a lot of the vlogs, and she's so freaking funny. It was a, like not my ministry jokes. Anyways, I'm cooking for her, so she's coming over. Also, like look how cozy I am this morning. All Princess Polly. Like, so cozy. Okay, I'm trying to upload my video. Do you want to jump in the pool? Just kidding, actually, please don't. Fit. hi. He just like doesn't care about me once he goes to the yard. This is where you guys actually are supposed to be. They have like a separate dog yard. Guys, look at how big he is. He's literally a puppy. He's actually seven months old. Can you believe that? My dad just brought me out coffee. I'm trying to upload Vlogmas, but it's being really annoying. This is my work setup for this morning. It feels so good. Oh no. Just out here working with the dogs. Hi guys, Um, I have been crying. <laughs> I like my outfit today, so that's a plus. It is definitely like the week before my cycle, but this is just like a really hard week anyways. <sighs> if you guys have followed along with my content for like the past two years, you guys will know that two years ago we lost my stepbrother. I'm not trying to make this like a really depressing clip, but it's just like, I don't know. I feel like it's also like reality. It was two years ago this week, like a few days ago. Also on top of that, on way lighter, <laughs> events happening i feel like you know i've talked about king d, d recently in vlogmas but it's just been not great I feel like my stuff that i've been using has actually made it a little bit better but i have always found myself like the week before my cycle like all of a sudden like really comparing myself and i don't feel like comparison was something that i really really struggled with and i really honestly think it's more so accredited to like my emotions on pmdd um than anything i don't know i just like ever since last night i'm like maybe like i'm boring or like my stuff isn't good enough or like no one likes blah 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 or like i don't have a future in this or like and like that's not thoughts that i normally have like just normal kinsey has i don't really super struggle with comparison or anything like that and i've always been pretty good at just not comparing myself and like running my own race but it's just the emotions that are brought with this that is like so horrible I wasn't even gonna film for the next few hours. I don't even know if I'll keep this in. But it's just hard sometimes. And I think, especially in Vlogmas, when I like love Christmas, it's still my favorite time of the year, even though, you know, it's harder now. But it just really sucks. I don't know. It's just at the same time, the holidays can be really hard for people. And like this time of year can like bring out loneliness and, you know, if you're grieving and things like that. And then also just like comparing myself on top of that, like, I don't know, I'm like, I'm 23. I don't really leave my house, like, maybe none of this is like great, my stuff isn't doing great, people don't like it, like whatever it is. So, um, I have a lot of work that I unfortunately have to do right now. I have to send in my podcast stuff, so I'm gonna get myself together, get this stuff done. Um, I have someone coming over in an hour to replace my fans, so that is a good thing because we know how much I hate these fans. I think he can do it. He's the guy who normally comes and works in my house and he told me he could do it last time. But either way, there's also um, a few things in my bathroom that I'm just gonna get 
swapped out and fixed. I love you guys. Okay guys, I'm actually feeling a lot better now. Today's video is sponsored by Princess Polly, so thank you guys so much. It's my absolute favorite store. I'm gonna try on all the pieces for you guys. I will have my discount code on the screen, if you guys wanna shop anything, you guys will get 20% off. This package came in last night and I immediately went through it and I am just so excited to literally live in everything that I got. Two pieces, like I said, are from Princess Polly and I just think they are so cute, they're so cozy. This little zip up jacket, it's perfect for this everyday wear. And then I also love these pants. I just needed like really cute, ribbed gray fitted pants i've ordered a few online but they are taking a long time to come in due to covid so i love these they're really really affordable too i find pants like this can get really pricey and these are really affordable and also just like so comfortable i also got this top which i think will be really cute to wear with jeans and maybe some boots a nice coat you know i love this look it's so cozy very cameron diaz all right, so this jacket I love, and what's really cool about this like zip up jacket, which I would actually style in a really cute way, or even just throw on over my workout clothes, but it's like a little waffle knit, is that, is that what that's called? I think, I don't know, the texture of it is just so different than normal jackets that I see, and it's just really cozy, I love, again, it would even look really cute with denim, but I feel like I'll just wear this in so many different ways. All right, I got this top too, which is really a wild top for me, but I just thought it was so cute. I wouldn't like necessarily pair it with these pants, but I do really like the look of it and I think it's fun. I'll, I'll probably wear it more in the springtime, but I think it's cute. I had to get these pants because they're just like nice little beige pants, which I love, but they have that little asymmetrical like button situation here that I love so much in my favorite jeans that are also from Princess Polly. It's a really affordable way to wear this trend. There are some brands that sell these pants for like $400 or you can go to Princess Polly. All right guys, so the first thing I have this top, which I got to layer under like a big crew neck. I actually completely copied the model's outfit idea off the website. I think I totally forgot to check out with the black sweater, but I'm sure I have one that I can make work. Basically, she was just wearing this with some boots and then like an oversized sweater and it was really cute. So, I'm excited. Also, these tops are just really, really nice to have because you can wear them in every single season. Then I have these jeans, which honestly, I probably would have sized down a size just because these are a little bit big on me, but they're meant to have that like very slouchy look. I would pair them with some boots probably, but they're really comfortable. It's like they still fit for sure, but they're just not super fitted around the waist so it really depends on the fit you want if you want them to just be like super super baggy stay true to size but if you want them to like fit around your waist a little bit better maybe size down i got this just like classic little black dress just because you can really never have enough and even though i'm probably not gonna have anywhere to wear this to for a long time i had to get it because it was like ruched around the stomach. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is just always the most flattering. This is one of those dresses that is perfect for the holidays. Um, I, again, I'm not gonna have anywhere to wear this to, but I wanted to get it anyways, just in case, because I thought it was so cute. It's, it's really soft. I think the color is just like absolutely perfect. Like obviously you'd wear this with heels. So this is probably my favorite. It's this little cozy, like lounging, working from home type of set. You can mix and match these with everything but this sweater is incredible quality i just think this is so cute and it was a really good price too when i see these things i find them to be really expensive then i got a pair of socks for sneakers and this cute little spa set that has some scrunchies a little head wrap and some barrettes to hold your hair back when you do your skincare so that's a really really good gift oh yeah and then i have this jacket which is really really cute i love how it's cropped again jeans and boots such an easy outfit, but like literally so cute. Also very warm. It's a much cuter version of the teddy coats that we're in in the past few years. Like this one technically it kind of is, but she's a lot more stylish. So I love this. I just ordered some Top Shop. So good. I always get the Thai coconut chicken bowl. 
Nice. It is incredible. I got this off DoorDash. So if you guys want to use my DoorDash code, you guys get money towards basically a free meal being delivered to your house. All right, so on the agenda for today, we have the fans hopefully being replaced. I'm pretty sure he can do it. Like this right here, it will be this new, like more black modern set. This bathroom is just like the biggest mess. I don't even do anything with it. I have two more doorknobs um, to replace because they're not all new like that. Like I needed two more. I didn't order enough the first time. And then this is like a bathroom accessory set. So again, it's the same sort of deal with just switching out the hardware in my bathroom. Another thing I'm doing for some self-care is having some Booch Pop, which I normally will do like a wine glass, but I'm using the Stella glass. I love these. They sent them to me and it was just so kind of them. And I have some Booch Pop. This is a, I believe it's a prebiotic, right? I think. I had the founder of Health Aid actually on my podcast. You guys should go listen to that. But this is just one of my favorite treats. I just love like drinks. I've always been that way. I'm gonna turn on some YouTube videos, get cleaning. Hopefully my guy will be here very soon. He's so nice. He's done so many other things on my house before. guys I have showered my video is finally uploading I feel I feel so much better I made myself some iced coffee my house is being worked on I think I need to start cooking in like two hours probably and I'm gonna put some vlogmas on for the time being showing you a little before my bathroom I really really don't like this bathroom I'm so grateful for my house but it's just like really not my style and I don't think it's worth it to like redo it but I want like I really really want to so I'm just making small changes like this I'm getting changed um, This doorknob I was supposed to get switched out when I got these new doorknobs, but I didn't have enough so all right guys well Look at how much better it looks. Okay, I'm gonna start cooking dinner, but I'm gonna make my tortellini Well, it's not mine. I got the recipe from a modern proper. I make it honestly like Two or three times a month probably but it's Italian sausage tortellini kale soup and it is so good. It is everyone's favorite thing that I make. So I'm gonna make that now. If you guys want the recipe, I have an Instagram reel up with it. Okay guys, it's hours later. My new fan. This is seriously so exciting. I cannot even describe it. And then you go to the bathroom. So this is gonna have to be fixed here. It looks so much better. Same thing, gonna have to be fixed around, but looks so much better. Look at my beautiful tree here. Going upstairs. All right, guys. Oh, there's Fitz. Okay, so this is Dom's bathroom. We've got some hardware going on here. Then, this is nothing crazy, but this has been replaced to match. Hello? Moving in here. The fan, guys, it looks so much better. Like, are you kidding? Oh my gosh, so much better, wow. And then you walk into my bathroom that I still don't love. You have the hardware here. I'm gonna get a new rug. This here and this, guys, it's looking better. Small improvements. I need to get new towels. This. Has become way too cluttered. Honestly, my bathroom is just that place that I really don't like. I ordered new lighting for my entire house, including this, and it hasn't come in. So I have no idea when that's coming in, and I need to replace these mirrors. My mom is like so anti these mirrors, which I agree now. So I just have to figure it out. But yeah, new lights, new situations. I really want to replace these because they're just not my vibe. Here's what we have right now. I have to edit, send a video in. We just ate dinner. Went on the rooftop, had a good night. My day definitely is better now. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow for an even better one. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.